Hello, hello. Good evening. Good afternoon. I'm in many time zones in my brain, and I don't know how many of them are the correct one. Um, thank you, Bartholomew. Um, it was fruitful. It was an interesting trip, definitely. We did a lot of things. Um, so I forgot the countdown. It just took me a few seconds to click it, but it was there. Return indeed. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting trip. And obviously back to more trivia. I think I've hosted in a while now, maybe like two weeks or so thinking about it, which is kind of crazy. It's been a while, too long, too long. I need to get back into the swing of triviaing now because I'm just completely out of it. Uh, hello, Katie Rhodes, her dot. Thank you, Annie B. I am back now in our office today. Did I eat anything regret? I ate sea snails and jellyfish. There was also a sign for um, fresh eels that you could eat, which I didn't eat, but maybe a delicacy in Hong Kong. Maybe I didn't eat that. I didn't eat that. Um, we had a nice break from you. Good. That break is over. Intenseness back always. Um, I didn't need a suit in the end. I went without a suit and we did pretty well. We had. I did wear shirts though. So that's a middle middling grounds, not complete casual. Um, on the toilet is the best place more. That's true. I always more on the toilet. Am I going to buy the Apple Vision Pro? No, because I don't believe in VR or AR as a concept for another three to five years, probably. I used to work in VR, so I just don't agree. I just don't think it's anywhere near ready. Um, a shirt. Um, a shirt indeed no i had top button undone so it didn't it didn't count as a tie um what's up with the rose i don't know it's a a rose for everyone a text you're not believing in vr not many people do believe in vr i don't think really they've been saying vr's around the corner since the 90s and it's never happened so um there you go that's happening VR Tim AI. I might take over the world. That'd be my next step. I'll be honest. Maybe I'm downplaying it so no one else does VR. But then when we do VR, I can be like, oh, what? I thought you said it was rubbish. But I don't think it's coming. It it's been coming for so long. It's too long now. Exactly. There's VR in the woods. That's true. I'm kind of jittery, aren't I? I'm like randomly jumping around. It's kind of fun. Um, no, I think VR will be ready when it's light on your head. The other thing is like, there's just like some really core cool problems with it. Like um, the headsets are too heavy in general to wear for like long periods of time. And it breaks your eyes um, over time. So that's not really good. And um, yeah, the games are all right, but they're not too great. Thank you, Dino. I'm back now. Um, jet lag jittery, indeed. I think it's the camera software being weird actually, but it's kind of a fun jitter because it's just a random jitter and it looks kind of smooth. So I'll uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I think it's camo, which is the studio I'm using. The Meta Police may come for me. That's true. Beat Saber is cool. I'll agree with that. Not all games on VR are bad. Just the format itself, I don't think, is ready just yet for like mass adoption, which should be coming out soon. Um, right. Hello, Mister. One minute to go. Sixty people. Where are the audience gone? What's happened? <laughs> While I've been away. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> we'll get more people. Um, a VR more quiz. That's true. That's good. You should do it. You should do it. Um, it's, I'm just picking up. I'm just picking up. That's good. Everyone heard my cries. Um, from the, How much did you raise? They're coming. They're coming. Um, Jeremy made everyone bored, so they left more. Of course. Of course. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, John M. One one two. I wish you the best of luck on um, getting the best score today and winning the prize. Hopefully, right. It is five minutes past three. We shall begin with more trivia. Hello, welcome back, um, all. Uh, I am Tim, and this is uh, more trivia. Um, back again from being away for a week and a half or so into presenting. Uh, it's a very easy game. It's episode 801. I think it is. I think it is today. Episode 800 yesterday, which is crazy. Also by Paul in New York, which is mental. 
Um, and yeah, it's very easy. There's six questions. The quicker you answer, the more points you get. And today, the top people, um, the top three people will get a thousand moolah, and anyone with over 35,000 points will get 65 moolah as well. That is what is going on. Very, very exciting. Um, that is all the prizes of today. And I have my graphic with me, which is sad, but I do have enthusiasm for trivia. And what else do you need than enthusiasm for trivia to host trivia? Nothing extra. Extra moolah is there. 60, 60 moolah, not 65, sorry. Thank you for correcting me, best can ever. Um, 60, 60 moolah, that's it. Um, I arrived in London playing more in a curled up blanket. That's good. I've got to go back abroad. I'll go back abroad next week again. Are there going to be cash games again? There will never be cash games again. Never, ever any cash games ever again. Right. Let's go for our first question. Uh, I was totally surprised this week. Joe's not in today. He hasn't told me. So maybe there is. But unfortunately, I don't know right now. Uh, right. First question. Um, by what name... Is the ulnar nerve better known? Is it the hamstring, the funny bone, or the Adam's apple? I love playing with my ulnar nerve all the time. Um, and your ulnar nerve is, of course, your funny bone. Your funny bone, which hopefully... 47, you got right, well done. 11 for hamstring and 8 for Adam's apple. Well done to 47, you getting that right. Now, your funny bone's like here, isn't it? It's like here, I think, when you bang it and it like hits you back. I think that's right, but I'm not 100% sure. The lol bone, that should be it, that should be it. Um, right, question. My hamstring doesn't exist, that's good. Uh, number two, another easiest question. Uh, my favorite ruler, it's my broy, my broy? I was gonna say bro and boy. It's my boy Ramesses, but Ramesses the Great ruled which ancient empire for 66 years? Was it the Greek, the Egyptians, or the Romans? I'm gonna turn my headphones. Oh, there we go, I can hear my voice now, perfect, before it was sound cancelling me. Um, Ramesses, famous for having many children, um, he was in fact not a Roman, not a Greek man, but he was an Egypt man. That is the correct answer. 49 of you got right, well done. 10 for Greek and 7 for Roman. Almost, almost correct. Almost correct. It's always a tough quiz. Always tough questions. But we are almost halfway through and we can have a look at everyone's scores. Question number three, though. We... Okay. Well, I was reading the question. My graphic is sort of like makes sense. So it's all right. Don't worry too much about it. Um, but we are, of course, talking about this. Oh, wait. Wait, can I show this? I don't think I can show this. It is. Uh, okay. Let me get a new image. One sec, one sec, one sec. Now, it technically, it doesn't really uh, ruin the question, but I think it does a bit. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. This will go, this will go, right. Uh, ooh. Done. Perfect. Right. Well, go away. Go away. Go away. Always 10 steps ahead of everything. Um, why this computer's so annoying? Here we go. Okay, perfect. Right. Image coming now. Boom. It's this film. This classic, classic film. If anyone remembers what it is, there's a sad robot a man in a dressing gown that goes around the space, space, I think. Um, and they're trying to make sure that Earth doesn't get demolished for a motorway. It is, of course, uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, but my question is, who wrote the book upon which this film was based on? Is it Doug Adams, Dick Adams, or Doug Copland? They are the questions and the answers, which I read. Um, we like it when the assets give it away. I know that asset was too easy. Unfortunately, I had a copy of the book as the asset, and I was like, actually, that is going to be um, have the answer on it. Is of course Douglas Adams uh, is the correct guy. And Forty-four, you get that right. Nine for Rich Adams, 
and 14 for Douglas Copeland. Who did Richard Adams do? Not right hitchhikers, guys. The guys. So look at the leaderboards, though. Three questions in. Three questions through. Now cut out in first order by Calvo Weasel and Best Can Ever with Andy H, We Like Shapes, Eugene, Knock Knock, Snot, SJP103, and Quizmonster in the top 10 positions. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Um, didn't Ratchet and Adams watch it down? Maybe. What was the guy of the guy who played Dumbledore? That's like... Uh... That's like a Richard, isn't it? I don't know if it was. Um, but he died recently. Um, Roger Darn and Girlfriend in a Coma. Two things you don't want to experience. Um, but let's move quickly on to question number four. Um, Split is a seaport in which country? Is it Indonesia, Croatia, or Italy? Richard Harris. That's it, that's it. Not Rolf Harris. Rolf Harris is bad, but Richard Harris. That makes sense. Um, 42 indeed, 42. So going for a big fat zero today. Always a go for. Um, Split is in fact though in Croatia, which 46 of you got right again. Well done. Seven for Italy, nine for Indonesia. I'm not sure how you would know that. Um, I imagine it's probably quite a big, close international port. Otherwise, how would you know that? Why would you know that? It doesn't make sense. Croatia is pointy. I see, I see. Good, good knowledge, good knowledge. Right. I was near Indonesia last week, actually, but not in it. Not in it exactly. Um, right. Question number five. Um, what was, or what is, the original first name of the astronaut Buzz Aldrin? Not Lightyear, Aldrin. Is it Orson, Edwin, or George? The largest passenger port in Croatia. I see, I see. I still have never been to Croatia, so I still wouldn't know what the correct answer is. Um, my mum went there. See, everyone's going there. That's why I didn't know. I need to get out more. Um, the correct question is, of course, Edwin. 44 of you getting that right. Another big majority. 10 for Orson and 9 for George. Everyone getting lots of questions right today. Let's see how the leaderboards have changed. We're going into our last question. It's now cut out. We like shakes and best can ever. Still in the top three. Followed by Funky Fraser, Omniwin, CT, Knock Knock, Dino, Chico, SJP, 103 in the top 10. Close to the trivia duck and test one, test two. Um, all easy, all going there. Right. We're going to go into our last question. And today we obviously have started Moore's Giving, which I believe has different shows. I need to actually check. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with it. I'll have a look and see. I should know what's going on, shouldn't I? Unfortunately, Hong Kong has blown me apart. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. But this last question is probably the most Thanksgiving question you can ever ask any audience or any person. It is, what is the approximate life expectancy of wild African gorillas? Is it 35, 65 or 95 years? Approximate life expectancy of wild African gorillas. Hmm. Well, it isn't 35. No, it is 35. 35 is the correct answer, which only 20 of you got right. 30 people think gorillas last for 65 years and 12 for 95 gorillas. Gorillas die young. Why? Because they smoke. If they didn't smoke, they would live longer. But, you know, gorillas, they love a cigarette. They love tobacco. And that is the problem um, with it. Uh, right. Let's look at the leaderboards. Um, how are we doing? It is, of course... Just myself, okay. Funky Fraser crept up from nowhere, followed by Best Can Ever, SJP 103 in the top three. But now cut out Carbo Weasel, We Like Shapes, Eugene, Vezra, Omni Wins, and CT in the top 10. Well done all. Uh, let me send you, everyone, your well deserved winners pop ups. Which. How do I. Which. I can't see. Am I going mad? I'm not going mad. It's gone. Well, no winners pop up today. But if you did come in the top 10, don't worry. It will appear here. It will appear here. I've got you all up here. Um, and well done to the 20 people who got that right. And how many people got over 35k? It was uh, up, to no, up to 35. 35 position and up. Got over 35k. That's good. Right. And before we finish... Let me load up the last thing. It is, of course, the 
randomizer where we'll pick a random person to win 250 points. That's it, 250. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, you don't do anything for a week, then you forget everything. Why is that? How does that happen? Uh, I don't really know how. Right. I just need a document to stick my sheets in, my notes in. Uh, okay. I'll just stick it in notepad. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Right. The perfect note app. Okay, cool. Right. There we go. You're safe. Your scores are safe. Stored. Right. How many people have you got who are in? It is, of course, 68 people. If you got zero, I'm sorry. Uh, let me set it up. Let me set it up. Stick sheets in. I use this document to stick sheets in. Right. 60, 68, 68. Let me go and change this then. Let me just open my programming. Open with notepad. No, 69. Tell you what, I'll make it 69. If it is 69, then so be it. So be it. Uh, 69. Here we go. 69. Save. 69 a rapper, isn't he? Is he alive? Maybe. They die young rappers, don't they? Why is that? Um, here it is, my number. Oh, not that. Ignore that. Here it is, an old graphic. Here's my number. In oh. Am I going to be able to hold it in my hand? There it is. 69. Right. Now. Let's refresh you. There we go. And spin. It is number two. Number two. Um, which is, I think that's best cut ever, isn't it? Best cut ever. You have won. An extra 250 points. Wow. Who could have predicted that? Not me. Not anyone. Because it is a random draw. And thus, the random draws have decided. Sometimes, it's like real life economics, isn't it? The people on the top, they just get more and more. Whereas us down below, we get nothing. That is my political uh, statement of the day. Um, but apart from that, thank you everyone for playing. It was a very exciting uh, quiz show. Um, and I don't know when I'll be back. Probably tomorrow night hosting, more or less. Um, or whatever it's called now. Give or get. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've not seen it. I've not seen it. Um, I'll have to check all that stuff. Um, who won the Moolah Donut last week? Good questions. I've got it up here, actually, in front of me. We can go through them now. And the winners from the Christmas Donut was... Oh... Let's go for a pint in first place with the most donations, followed by Dot and Anime Dan in the top three. Well done, top three players. Klopp Your, Taiwan John, Wokes and Makaro, Not Not, Nessie Makes Things, Super Cubby, and Hot Dog Leg. Hot Dog Leg? Hot Dog Legs? Leg? I'll uh, check on that. But that is the top ten people. Well done all for those. And that is the streamers, correct? That is the streamers. And for the donators, it is Jeff Keys. SJP, 103, Anime Dan, Dino, and Cowboy Weasel in the top five positions. Well done, everyone who got there. Also, change Chico's name. I need to change Chico's name. It is, maybe it has changed. Uh, maybe not. But there you go. They are the winners. They're also on both of our, um, they're also on both of our social medias. All of them uh, are Insta and Twitter. So you can check out, or X now, formerly, formerly known as Twitter, I should say. Um... But yeah, that's it. Well done uh, for winning. Um, we'll be back again in the future. Probably try. No more from last or less I hosted. Oh yeah. Um, I think I won't get back to Joe on that. I'll have a look at it. Um, but apart from that, thank you all for playing. Um, good, sh good, well done streamers. A, a good amount of money. Hopefully we'll see more in the next few weeks as well. With some more content on more more shows, more people, more everything. That's what we'll be working towards over the next two weeks. And yeah, have a very good Thanksgiving because giving is thanking is giving. Um, last week's games from Moolah have not been received. Ooh, I'll have a look at that as well. Um, I'll chase all these things up for you. Um, thank you for playing, but I will check. I will go away and check all these problems and then return 
to give you all their solutions to your problems. Thank you all. Goodbye and enjoy.